dire team ban. Radiant team pick. Beastmaster. Dire team pick. Doom. Radiant team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Life stealer. Dire team ban. All right, Boogaloo, are you here? Blue? Five seconds remaining. Boogaloo, are you here? Hello? Okay, what's up? Uh, dude, we're already in the game. What the heck? You didn't join the game? Oh my god, I, what's wrong with you? The game was already hosted. Oh, that's my bad. Um, you know, after game one ends, game two usually starts. Dire team yeah. Back. Oh yeah, you forgot the password. Yeah, that's my bad. Well, um, I'm trying to think of a solution here that doesn't involve you having to watch with delay, but I think we're going to have to do nothing. Ten seconds. Because if you can't watch the game, you're not particularly going to be able to cast. Remaining. That's my bad. Blame it. <laughs> yeah, it was like Steam update and then game update, but well, I guess... I will hit you up for game three if there's a game three. How about that? How about that, Boogaloo? Well, what, there, you're going to be watching with two minute delay. You don't know who's drafting and who's picking and whatnot. Okay. I'll hit you up for game number two. You can still talk. Okay, fine. You can still talk to me. Okay. If I ask questions, it's to you, even though you don't know what's going on in the game. Reserve time. Well, you can watch it in the game client. Okay, how about that? In the game client. There is something called a game client. Okay. Two minutes behind. Anyways, we're going to the draft. FDL had priority this time. They ended up choosing first pick, Digital Chaos, ended up choosing Dire. They really sped through these picks. I started that intro video like right when the game actually finished loading in, and then bam, here we are. After Boogaloo has failed to join the game, which is not completely his fault because he's not used to doing this kind of thing, and I failed to notify him. Dire so Digital team. Chaos have been out, Bounty Hunter and Phoenix, pretty well warranted and taken up the other roamer that is also pretty useful for them, Earth Spirit. Misery plays a pretty decent one, we Ten also plays it, remaining. so not forced into one role. Uh, friendship, dedication, love, going with the Jungle Beastmaster, I assume. I don't think I've actually seen them run it off lane yet. And Beast's Life Stealer, which was just an absolute train wreck yesterday. Hopefully today's will be a little bit better. No. Nope. Winter Wyvern. Radiant Team Pick. Google, it's it's quality of life for having you in this game as opposed to however many people watching this game and all 10 players and all casters for all the other languages is just not worth it. I'm sorry Boogaloo. Ten seconds they, they would understand but they would disagree with the choice and they would Five flame you and it'd be well warranted flame. Okay the Winter Wyvern. Reserve. Well yeah you can you you can analyze, you can kind of do panel work and talk about what you think went wrong in the game and I can hit you up after. How about that? It's going to be two minutes late. Boo, boo. I'm going to end the call if you talk out of line. How about that? I'm going to end the call if you talk out of line because, you know, there's, there's a game to be casted. If there's something super important and awesome that you see, feel free. Okay, anyways. To the game. We have Winter Wyvern picked up by Digital Chaos. A somewhat common pickup versus Beastmaster. 
Uh, just because the Winter's Curse owns any heroes with Necro books. We have a Venomancer. Yeah, from FDL. Venomancer. Dude, Venomancer and Jakiro, two heroes I thought I would not see today. Those would be like bottom 20 on my list of heroes that I wouldn't see today. Ten seconds remaining. I never said he wasn't good. I just Five didn't think I would uh, I would see him. Thanks, thanks, Boogaloo. Reserve time. Maybe they're just trying to throw people off. They're like, uh, oh, we're much better than FDL. We can beat them with Mitch Kiro. Other teams will think we run it. Ha! Jokes on them. I, no, I actually think that they are, they are actually, you know, just sneaking the push right here and there to keep uh, other teams from playing too greedily. But I, I think FDL are going to run the Beastmaster Iron Talon Jungle again, just because it's what Bronzy loves to. Venomancer doesn't seem particularly good versus Doom. I've seen the Venom AA combo before, which has proven to be very useful, but this was like maybe two years ago when high ground defense was much different and you would just get owned by that combo. And when AA was simply more popular, when Alchemist was just not as prevalent. This is old school. <laughs> no, that's, that's Alchemist's first spell. It's called Venomous Gale, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, but not everyone plays like QWER. Some people play Legacy Keys, some people switch out their hotkeys. It's not as. It, uh, I can I mean, I can kind of see it. He's like spraying ass from his mouth. Like, kind of makes sense. Weaver has been banned out. That is that is strange. Meepo is not that Ten big of a surprise if you don't have the heroes Reserve that can deal with it. Which, oh, Lena, Lena, I actually expected him to take Lena a lot like more often. Although I think, still not sure whether it's a Wee Lena or a Wee Earth Spirit. More likely Wee Lena. Alchemist. And there's the guy with the real acid spray. Back. Yep. Thanks, thanks, Google. I'm sure that you. Acid Ten spray. The hero with acid minutes. spray. Five I guess it's a remaining. mid alk deal. That's pretty greedy, though, if they run Beastmaster Jungle. So I don't know if they'll Radiant actually team. throw him in the offlane this time. I still haven't seen them run it, but still a possibility. I think it, it's stupid as well, but hey, still fit. they might do it just because they like the junglers. Ten and they're like, remaining. you know, hoping that the opponents don't punt. Hoping that they don't constantly Five shadow them in, in the jungle. They don't have a bounty hunter. They don't have uh, a phoenix this time. So it, it's Reserve. still passable. I think Beastmaster is also probably a better jungler than the Axe. Just because he can scout uh, way easier. They had to dump a server ward for the Axe. And with Beastmaster, you can just use your boar. No problem. And you go like 0 two, 2 So you don't even need uh, the mana. The mana hit. The 6.870 is not that big of a nerf. Hmm. Radiant I don't know. Pick. For some reason, I think Slardar. Chaos Knight, I also think, is actually pretty good. Decent versus Life Stealer. Uh, occasionally. <laughs> because of Armor Frost. Oh, it is the Venno AA! Oh! Veno Alk AA, man. I think CK would destroy them. Get up in their face. Resolution plays a lot of things. Ten I mean, they could do, remaining. what, Anti-Mage? Anti-Mage is so-so here. Spectre? Ooh, Spectre's not bad. Slardar is so-so. Might have scaling Reserve issues, time. though, because can't really breach Five high ground versus Veno AA. AA. That is... Like it's, uh, like him. 
they just pick Lycan. Like it, like it's pressure early. Not really ratting. I think they can just take down towers very early, similar to last game. And but instead of we playing the carry that put or the core that pushes, they have resolution this time. So we'll be we on the Lena and Missouri on the Earth Spirit. So no we Spirit today. CCNC will be the mid alchemist. Bisa on the life stealer. He had Tranquil and Relic at like 18, 19 minutes yesterday, which is super slow for Life Stealer free farming standards. So hopefully he can improve on that timing a little bit. It will be Franz on the Venomancer, and they will be running off lane Beastmaster this time, deeming it probably too greedy. Yeah, I think that's a choice. So on the side of FDL, we have Stan King on the Ancient Apparition, Bisa. On the Life Stealer, CCNC, on the Alchemist, Franz, on the Venomancer, and KVH, their stand in. Beast. And on the Dire side, said Sec BRB, Misery on an Earth Spirit, we have Saxa on the Winter Wyvern, Moo, playing the Doom, got some sets, Wooly on the Lena. Resolution on the Lycan. It's two minutes. It's a long time. Well, you can think of something smart to say in two minutes. <laughs> I like their lineup more this time. Um... I think it, it has a lot more room for error, and they they scale really, really well. So kind of the onus is on DC to make sure that they can pressure them early, take down towers, and I would say that their lineup is much weaker at taking towers than last game, because last game they had a Shadow Shaman who had a very early level 6, as well as a very early Blink, and then they also had the mid Shikiro who was doing very well in lane and kept the timber saw from being deeply farmed. Dude, no. I my the computer I don't think can handle it, and it, it's not worth it. Benefit is is not worth it. I'm sorry, Boogs. You're gonna have to deal with two minutes delay. Let's see if you can predict what's gonna happen without hearing me. Anyways, Winter Wyvern sucks. Uh, placing a very deep observer ward. Looks like he will already be blocking the spawn. I do not see any pings come out from FDL, so they are none the wiser. I don't think I see sentries on anyone aside from the ancient apparition. He is broke. This is the rough support life. The inventory space times five, and then two sentries and one observer ward. He is the hard five. Some people would even call him a six or a seven. Or whatever you want to call him. Even all the way up to Boogaloo Poor. <laughs> uh, KVH, no signs of building an Iron Talon quite yet, so it looks like he wants to test his metal in the lane versus Resolution, Saxa, and Misery. Misery kind of walking up, not really scared at all. They do have vision. KVH, though. They know that he's in this tree area somewhere. Misery going with the roll. He does have the Orb of Venom, but with the recent nerf to Rolling Boulder, one not very strong. It will not be enough for his team to catch up. However, Alchemist does pick up Evil's Greed. Oh, Overlay? Oh. Wow, I was talking for two minutes with that. That's what I get for talking to Boogaloo. Oof. Okay. Thing it's only 20 seconds in. Every time I started the game, I was like, man, I gotta switch to overlay. I gotta switch to overlay. I gotta switch to overlay. Work three times, four times, not the charm for me. Luckily, I was informed that my overlay was still on. I'm sorry. I apologize to everyone. Oh, KBH does get rolled on. Maybe he should have committed to early Iron Talon because he is out of luck, striking out first blood prior to one minute in. That is kind of every offlaner's worst nightmare, not having any items to go into the jungle and beating first blood already. Well, the cooldowns are up, at least for the Rolling Boulder, not quite yet for the Arctic Burn. And KVH will narrowly dodge the Rolling Boulder. 
aided by his little trusty Hawk, which does not have enough HP and will tick down to the Orb of Venom. Misery, though, no stout shield. However, he does have boots and can easily harass KVH. Duxa, burn is almost up. KVH has to be very careful not to get hit by the rolling boulder and the double slow. So just going to chain stack, though, in that lane and Moo with the pulling blade. Doing pretty well in terms of experience. Free farm, very similar. Both carries. Thanks, Boo. -boo. Yeah, that was that was my fault. I know, I know, I messed up. I had the draft overlay on, and then it looks like all the heroes are in jail, and then you can't see anything game. But it's been two minutes, so should be effective by now. Misery with aided reserve reward will be able to go uphill onto KVH, but he does immediately summon a boar. Misery does have the arcane rune slightly kicks him back. KVH still trying to kick him out. He does have a tango, and Misery almost about to die. One chop away. That was really close. Three armor, 69 damage. Not quite enough unless he gets a high roll. What was his roll? 65 to 69. I don't think he could have killed him even with the highest of rolls. Still pretty darn close. Alchemist. Going the typical greed build, although not max speed. Opting for max asset spray, which is pretty typical. Soul ring first for him. It's like it's going to be a farm fest. For the first part of the game. Uh, most people max spray. Maybe at level 4 you could get like 304, but I think 3... Uh, 3021 to 30... Yeah, maybe at level 8 I, I suppose. Eh, who knows. It's hard though versus Lina. I don't think you can get away with uh, a greed versus Lina. I think versus a weaker lane you can, but versus Lina he's just gonna own you. Well, KVH has found a nice spot in the trees without the aid of a Quelling Blade Sox. So try to scout him out, but it looks like KVH will finally be able to soak up some levels without misery there to constantly harass him. But they actually do know that he's over there at this point. Misery maybe trying to set up for a chicken snipe at this point, although it's going to be pretty difficult for him, especially considering his past three minutes. And KVH will make it out alive to the T1. Misery coming in from behind. FDL none the wiser with no observer ward to help him out over here. Going to be a pretty tough kill unless he actually hits his uh, hits his rolling boulder, but that might not be too tough of a tough of a task considering KVH does not actually have boots. Misery, being very patient over here, almost runs into the observer ward, and here we go, nice rolling boulder. Start things off. Boulder smash. Bottom it is very attack. even, except CC is about to die. He's <laughs> really close to dying there. Oh, this will be the first T1, the spoils of DC's one push core lineup. I don't know if that's a thing, but that's what they've been running. At the same time, Beast are trying to do some damage to his own safe lane tower, but no Bassy in its midst going to be very difficult, especially because Mu has returned from lane level 5. Dang, level 5 in 5 minutes, I guess that's where Iron Talon AFK jungle gets to you, as opposed to KVH who's still level 2 and getting a lot of pressure outside of his T2, struggling to get experience of any sort. Oh, he is jungling! Oh my goodness, I was like, oh, he's playing Venno. Yeah, uh, I, I, sh I should have known better. I was like, oh yeah, he's Venno Master. That hero can't jungle right. Oh, wait, no, I'm wrong. How do you do that as, how do you do that as a Venno Master? Really? And it pushed him up? Oh, Misery wraps in from behind with another boulder smash, and KVH 
struggling in the off lane. P2 taking a fair amount of damage, and uh, I mean, FDL is just getting crushed in this off lane, and they're just making a. Uh, DC is making FDL kind of do something about this greedy jungler. Venomancer is level 6 though. 1131 is his build. Level 6 by 6 minutes. Pretty decent, similar to Moose pace of farm. And he will take over the lane. And KVH has not opted for the Iron Talon, instead going for the boots. He's. Bisa coming in hot. And will get the open wounds onto the Earth Spirit. Misery will fall. Stain King takes a lagoon into the face, but barely survives. We with the early soul ring. Pretty cool. Normally you'll see like arcane in the aether lens, but this is slightly better, I think, for damage output. Narrowly whiffs the Dragon Slave. Wouldn't have killed him anyways. And Alchemist is feeling the pressure. Well, that is armlet number one. And Bisa is working on armlet number two. Well, someone sacked the Ancients, but works out for Alchemist not quite so well for the Life Stealer. Boogaloo, you see anything interesting? Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yes. Radiance bottom. But what? I mean, he's he's a venom answer, though. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Well, why don't they can just get the uh, Alk to farm for him, right? Isn't it better to have like the Alk farm for the Venomancer as opposed to the Venomancer farm? Uh, I guess it depends on what kind of strat they're going for. Yeah, but they're getting crushed as a result of them farming. And what do they have to show for? A level 7 Venomancer with 2,000 gold. Is he going to go Midas? Is he going to go Scepter? What do you go with 2,000 gold on a free farming jungle Venom? I thought you were about to say pipe. <laughs> well, you'll be happy to know that he did opt for the hand of Maiden. <laughs> what a player, huh? That's a sign for DC to start pushing him in. They did have the Observer Ward recently placed by Misery that I believe scattered out the Hand of Midas, so they know that additional pressure is not really coming their way. They really want to hold this T1 Tower, one Venomancer Ward at the tower and CC and C, holding the high ground with Armlet already complete. 50 CS on him, not the best, but he was versus Alina, and we see Resolution and a couple other members of DC heading to Roshan. Pretty early. Can they take high ground though? Isn't that what the Alk NOA is missing? Well, I hope they ended in 20 just so they can prove you wrong. Okay, Stanking, he has bought the Tome. He's on track for that 12 minute level 6. Doing a little bit better than Earth Spirit and Winter Wyvern. And actually, how does Soxa always get level 6? I guess this time he had Roshan experience, but yeah, he's doing pretty well in terms of XP. Stanking, let's see if he pops it immediately or has a trend of supporting supports holding on to it. Oh, he didn't even grab it. Oh, C, C, and C. Initiated on with a splinter blast and cannot survive the burst even with an armlet. And yeah, they are just asserting their dominance all over the map. T2 getting beaten down and it looks like a medallion will be built up soon for all resolution. And the mid tower is being held, but Franz is just he has minus 1200 gold, but he hasn't done anything in this game. His hero damage is minimal. He has zero kills, zero assists, zero Death. 
is one with the jungle. Oh, Stan King has been scouted out. Not quite yet, but they are getting built in between the feed one and the two. Franz gets doomed up. Stan King not quite level six, and there is an angry Doombringer as well as a very angry resolution. We does get cold embraced up. Visa trying to finish some people off. Soxa able to narrowly escape due to a sick TP. Same with Misery. And even though Venomancer did buy back, TP in after dying to Doom and get his ultimate off. DC don't lose anyone. Not even the Aegis of the Immortal. But the T1 is still alive, so that's a lot of his Midas gold just down the drain right there. And kind of... that That's what... 11 minutes of jungling just culminated in. I think they just I think they just want to hold high ground. That's their it's like, okay, we can lose T1s, we can lose T2s, but high ground, that's when we really need to need to hold and where we really need to repel their push. That's what their alchemist is there for. DC we'll doesn't have that great a pick right now, unless Doom goes for a Shadow Blade. Oh, well, we do see a smoke coming out. Oddly enough, Doom is one of the few heroes that is actually smoked. And CCNC, armlet on for Manjo at Tower. Laguna there to finish him off. Your Wyvern is actually owning uh, Alchemist too. Like, you have your armlet on with Arctic Burn. Yeah, really good at getting you into critical range. You get nailed by Laguna. Well, that was that was a value value Laguna coming out from Lena with the arcane rune. How what? Uh, phase armlet into gloves. I guess I'm guessing Midas as well. Seems pretty likely at this point in the game. You just try and outfarm them and save the high ground defense for another day. That was that was crazy. That's like not an angle that you expect. Yeah. I KBH is infested up. I don't really think they want to go on Lycan. He did close ultimate. I don't know if FDL saw that. They do have a Hawk, but that was only just recently placed. A ulti does come out and does not hit every anyone. Alchemist stuns up himself, gets teamed up with Al ultimate on, but his ultimate is still on too. Sucks though. Cast Winter's Curse on to Bisa. Doesn't really do anything because this is the Lycan. Round him, Franz. Getting chased down by Resolution. Bisa is going to die, and it is just a slaughter. We in the back lane just kind of tearing these supports apart, and these initiations are so weird. The, in between the mid, T1 and T2, it's just a support getting jumped. No one was ready. This one, it was out stunning himself and getting doomed with Armlet on, and forced to run away immediately from the fight. So we're starting off 4 on 5, and on top of that, they're just fighting into the Aegis from Resolution. Radiant's top tower has fallen. Yeah, that's getting to that point in the game. Once the Alchemist gets Radiance though, and then can maybe push out lane so that FEL don't actually have to fight, that might be that's why you go Midas is on Life Stealer, right? <laughs> What's your threshold for Midas? Do you have a hard threshold for when you don't get Midas? <laughs> What if you're going to lose those towers anyways? Like, if he got Veil, would it really have made that much of a difference for this? If if the Life Stealer went uh, Sange instead? He got doomed. Yeah, he got doomed immediately. Two supports would have died for a buyback. Eh, it's just a, it's just a strat. 
I think it's just their strat, dude. It's like, okay, we're going to lose the early game. Let's win late game because we have heroes that all have ags upgrades, even though life stealers is terrible. And because we have more Midas's, let's just outfarm them, force them to mess up. Like, if it gets late, like, DC have to push into, like, an AA plus a Veno with ags on top of, like, just being constantly whittled down by the Radiance. I think the, the lineup has their merits. It's just, like, can they actually get to the point? And King has been and King's been scouted out by the Lycan Wolves and CCNC is hot on Chase. KVH get his get his TP interrupted with the Winter Wyvern ultimate and we'll take another spill. Lycan maybe not wanting to really pursue CCNC. Well, Armlet is on. Alchemist ultimate is almost off. We does cast the Laguna Blade and trying to armlet toggle through the Magnetite. It's not going to work out well for him. Braun trying to come in with just as low Midas Queen. Just turning around with a fiery soul and pumped by Misery. Or another three kills in quick succession by DCN. As you said, Boogaloo, I don't think it's going to get to that point. I think you're right. They're, they're just getting mowed down. I mean, there's nowhere for anyone to farm. Radiance there is top not top a Radiance top. up on Alchemist. It's, you know, just complete map control out for them. Necro 3 coming out very soon, if not coming out already. Mech coming out. Radiance middle tower has fallen. What does Wild Axes do, dude? Oh, dude. No. No, I think you just get your boar. I think it's really terrible for jungling, which is what Beastmaster's strength is. Beastmaster's strength is that he can just go to the jungle, and he can jungle very quickly. So if you have a difficult lane, you just get Iron Talon, and then you go. But they didn't have Sentry Wars for him. They didn't really have anything for him in top lane, no sort of support, and then he was forced to lane in to, into a very difficult situation. Yeah, I don't think they could have done that much, because... Uh, I think what he needed to do was start off with like sentries and a quelling blade, and then kind of feel out the lane, like feel out where Earth Spirit's going. If Earth Spirit's going to go mid, try and snipe chicken, then you can maybe test out the lane, use your board to harass it with your wyvern. But if Earth Spirit is up there, then you just drop your sentry in the jungle, use your hawk to scout out the ward, and then just get level 6 at a reasonable quick instead of however late he got in this game. He's just level 7, 18 minutes in the game. Well, he does almost have his book. Yeah, he is. He is owning. And unfortunately for DC, it will be a near maximum road respawn timer. I think probably, uh, yeah, almost 11 minutes, dude. It's like 10.56. Really unfortunate for them. Really, they want this game to end as soon as possible before they actually have to deal with the threat of double ultimates. What do you laughing at, dude? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I like that. I like that kill too. Well, here things may change for FDL. Thousand gold lead in the dumpster, but CCNC finally does have his radiance and Lycan Wolf outreaches the radiance burn. Now, 46 is my current timer. Armament Radiance. Yeah. Ideally, you want 12 or 13 with free farm versus tough lane, 16 or 17, but they didn't really have any anyone stacking for him because Venom Mazer was just taking his uh, camps, and then we had the Life Stealer do the Ancients too, so he doesn't even have an Ancient stack available to him. DC pacing back and forth around the Roshan pit, wondering when they will be granted another Ages of the Immortal. So they have to wait one more minute. Very little. Single digits. But still possible. Takes good AA ultimate into like a three man uh, acid sp uh, Wow. I, I almost called it acid spray. Poison Nova. Yep. Three man Poison Nova with an alchemist. You know, beating on them, willing down with the radiance. They don't have BKBs. Oh, they, they have a pipe on Zoom. Oh, no. 
The CNC gets doomed up. Saksa. Arctic burn not yet at the ready. CCNC still has ultimate off for just a few more seconds, but will just burn to death afterwards. And resolution running in with pipe on beast that trying to run away with rage misery trying to chase people down there is the pipe that comes out and everyone's still alive and healthy even after the a ulti plus vent ulti that almost did nothing to their lineup because bc has itemized properly that is getting a pipe against mass amount of damage well B throws out a laguna blade to finish off Beastmaster, Moo gets Glimmer caped up, even though he's A ultimate, still won't really be in that much danger. And Doom's farm is just ridiculous too. He has a Midas and he's actually doing stuff. He's almost on par with Alchemist, but I guess that's what's happening to him here. Up 15 to 2. Oh, DC is all alive and healthy. We see we actually go for a Desolator on the Wii. Just speed this tower and building sling up just a little bit more and it's kind of all but over at this point TSTNC is trying to do something but we is just constantly pressuring him and this armlet life dealer can't even walk into this lineup oh misery goes in rolls on her front gets two man silence a ult comes out but it looks like it will hit just weak and Soxa will save himself the winter oh, oh my goodness dude this is just ugly ccnc might get one kill he did get a kill gem hits the deck ccnc can he armor toggle through this we desperately trying to take him down ccnc armor toggles after the unstable concoction move comes in but not before the gg out 19 to 3 the final score gg that's kind of what i expected Oh, average game time of about 21 minutes for this series and FTL. How many kills did they even get the first game? What do you mean?